Think of the last time you were so taken aback by something that happened in your favorite horror TV show that you just had to rewind and pause it and see what it was again. There are teams of people that go into making these moments happen, so I'm sure they appreciate people like us who just need to investigate them. And horror fans are precisely the kinds of people who eat up these popularly pausable points for extra scares or fascinating foreshadowing tidbits. Without further ado, I'm Jess from WhatCulture.com and we're going over the 10 most paused moments in horror TV shows. Number 10, Supernatural, Days of Our Lives. Season six, episode 15, The French Mistake. Supernatural has always been full of Easter eggs and inside jokes, with the actors never afraid to poke a little fun at themselves. This was especially evident in the episode, The French Mistake, where Balthazar sent Sam and Dean to an alternate universe to protect them from Balthazar's hitman. The meta episode sees the brothers as stars of a TV show called Supernatural, and they appear as actors named Jensen Eccles and Jared Padalecki. Cassiel is a Twitter-obsessed Misha Collins, and as in real life, Sam is married to Ruby. The story is incredibly entertaining to watch as we see Jared and Jensen act as Sam and Dean, pretending to be Jared and Jensen acting as Sam and Dean. Did you follow that? One of the most amusing moments in the episode and worth pausing to appreciate fully is when Dean finds out that Jensen appeared in the cheesy soap opera Days of Our Lives, as he did in real life. And Sam pulls up an embarrassing shot from the show when Jensen was looking decidedly less like the handsome capable hunter we know so well. Number nine, Stranger Things, the Demogorgon appears. Season one, episode nine, The Upside Down. The main antagonist of Stranger Things season one was shrouded in mystery for most of the episodes. It was named the Demogorgon Gorgon after Eleven said it looked a little bit like the Dungeons and Dragons character, but apart from that we had no idea and it was still a real shock when we finally saw it. We were given little hints to its appearance, first when Eleven was in the sensory deprivation tank and then when Nancy was exploring the realm inside the tree looking for Barb. Eleven only saw it from the back and was snapped back to reality when it turned around. It turned and roared at Nancy but we only saw its face quickly before she ran and it was like Game of Thrones season 8 level dark. The final episode of the season had the children facing off against the police in the school, when Eleven accidentally summoned the beast by making all the officers bleed out of their eyeballs. Attracted by the blood, the Demogorgon burst through the wall and we got our first proper look at it in all its glory. Well worth a pause to take it all in. It seems odd now that you can buy it in Lego pop vinyl and even cuddly versions, but the Demogorgon reveal was really stunning at the time and totally fearsome when it's not in its plush form. Number eight, The Walking Dead, Heads on Spikes. This unforgettable episode showed Daryl, Michonne, Carol, and Yumiko released after being captured by Alpha and her Whisperers. Before they left, she gave them a speech about how they could leave peacefully alongside the Whisperers so long as they stayed out of her territory. She made sure to tell them she clearly marked the borderline of their territory for them. As they're walking home, they find a beaten and bloody Siddiq tied to a tree, who points to the border gruesomely marked by ten spikes, each topped by the zombified head of a protagonist character. The camera paused and focused on each person in turn, but it still took some rewinding and pausing for fans to identify just who the victims were that found themselves headless and on spikes. The unhappy victims were Tara, Henry, Enid, Tammy, Rose, Ozzy, Alec, DJ, Addy, Rodney, and Frankie. It was a tremendous shock to lose so many main characters at once. On the bright side, it actually kinda could have been worse, as in the comics, Ezekiel and Rosita also found themselves impaled on spikes, which would have brought the total headcount <laughs> head to 12. Number seven, The Haunting of Hill House, Nell's Ghost. Season one, episode six, Two Storms. Now there are enough hidden ghosts in The Haunting of Hill House to warrant an entire list on them, but this one was particularly poignant. In episode five, we learnt about Bent Neck Lady, a ghost that Nell had encountered several times during her life, terrifying her as a child. The big twist came at the end of the episode, where we found out that Nell herself was actually the Bent Neck Lady, and she appeared in this way because of how she looked when she hanged herself. She wasn't seeing a ghost at all, but a vision of her future self. In episode six, we see Nell's body beautifully presented in a coffin by Shirley with the family gathered around. As well as seeing Mother Olivia in the background, one shot showed the whole family looking towards Nell's body. While if you paused, you could see Nell's ghost, sadly looking on in her bent neck pose, standing at the back of the room. Number six, Teen Wolf, Styles' Murder Board, season three and four credits. Up to season three, Teen Wolf Scott's best friend Styles is shown moodily walking away from his Jeep in the credits. 
Everything changed once his dad, Sheriff Stalinsky, found out about the supernatural events in Beacon Hills. Stiles really came into his own and started investigating the creatures and murderers as a detective would. That included putting together a murder board. Season 4 saw Stiles making up his board in the credits, and pausing this sequence hinted at a lot of the story to come. This season focused on the Deadpool and the Benefactor, leading on to the return of Kate Argent and her terrifying berserkers. There's a drawing of the Mute, the assassin who killed for the Benefactor, and an article about the Walcott family's murder, which he was responsible for. The newspaper articles also tell of the virus and quarantine in the high school, and there's a photo of a man in a shirt and tie, possibly the chemist, who created the werewolf killing virus. Other articles reference other events like the battle in the mall in season 3. Peter and Derek both have headshots on the board highlighting their importance to this season, and their different reasons for leaving at the end of it. There are also tons of other tidbits you can pick up, so if you're a fan, make sure you pause on this one. Number 5. Charmed – Melinda Warren in Book of Shadows Season 1, Episode 1, Pilot In the original incarnation of Charmed that ran from 98 to 2006, the Halliwell sisters travelled back to the year 1670, where they helped a model woman called Charlotte Warren give birth to a little girl called Melinda. Melinda would go on to create the Book of Shadows, and would become a powerful witch and the original ancestor of the Charmed Ones. Melinda also appeared in the series, working with Piper, Prue and Phoebe to defeat a warlock. When Charmed was rebooted in 2018, the new sisters were introduced as Mel and Maggie Vera, and their older half-sister, Macy Vaughan. The story was meant to be inspired by the original series, but the sisters were not meant to be related to the Halliwells in any way. However, when the sisters were looking through the Book of Shadows in the pilot episode, if you pause, you can clearly see one of the pages is about Melinda Warren. Fans went wild trying to investigate this link and see how it connected the reboot to the original. Unfortunately, press releases then revealed that it was just an easter egg and not an actual sign that the two are connected. Disappointing, but well done for finding it if you did. Number 4. American Horror Story – Twisty the Clown Chronicles Season 7, Episode 1, Election Night Poor Twisty the Clown, mentally disabled after being dropped on his head as a child, he eventually found success working as a clown in a travelling show. That is, until two dwarves, jealous of his popularity, spread a vicious rumour that he was a child molester. With his career in tatters, Twisty attempted suicide, but only resulted in blowing off the bottom half of his face, leaving him hideously disfigured. He descended into kidnapping and murdering because, sure, and wore a scary grinning mask mask to cover the hole in the bottom of his face. <laughs> However, even this was revealed to have an innocent motivation, when ghost Edward Mordrake told us he was just trying to save the children from their abusive parents, shortly before killing him. It was quite sad then to see that Twisty had been immortalised as a terrifying villain in the horror comic Twisty the Clown Chronicles in the cult season of American Horror Story. Young Oz Mayfair Richards is given a copy by his clown-fearing mother. If you pause the exchange, you can see the cover features other Freak Show members, including Jimmy Darling, Meep, and Pepper. Number 3. Hannibal – Beverly's Body Season 2, Episode 5, Muko Zuke It's a good day whenever I get to talk about my favourite show on a what culture list, and NBC's Hannibal has plenty of pause-worthy peril. Season 1 had a shish kebab nurse, a human cello, and a Colombian necktie. If you don't know what that is and you're about to sit down to a meal, maybe don't Google it. Season 2 had started strongly with the horrifyingly beautiful human mural, which needed to be seen from above to be fully appreciated. However, the first death of a character we were really affected by was poor Bev. The fibre analysis crime scene investigator, who was a much loved and trusted member of the FBI team. Unfortunately, her intelligence and trust in Will Graham led her investigation to Hannibal Lecter's basement, assuming that he may be the Chesapeake Ripper. Hannibal discovered her and murdered her, freezing her body before cutting her into individual layers and displaying each of them in separate glass frames in the observatory. Our reaction to her fate was similar to distraught agent Jack Crawford, but the scene was definitely worth a pause to appreciate both the imagination and the effort that must have gone into creating such an exhibition. Number 2. Bates Motel – Norma's Corpse Season 5 Episode 1 – Dark Paradise 
We all knew what was going to happen to poor Norma Bates, but it was still interesting to see her portrayal in Bates Motel, particularly as within Psycho she was pretty much just a skeleton with a wig on it. Season 2 had ended with her death from carbon monoxide poisoning, which Norman had intended to use to let both he and his mother slip away together. However, Sheriff Romero unwittingly saved Norman, but failed to revive his beloved Norma. Season 5 began two years after this, and showed Norman carrying on as if his mother was still alive in the house. After a particularly heated argument with her where she storms off, he ends up heading down to the basement, where we see him crouch down, struggling to decide what to do. As he lays his head on Norma's lap, the camera pans back and we see the shot that everything had been leading up to. Norma's perfectly dressed and preserved corpse sitting upright in a rocking chair, staring at us with glassy white eyes. It is definitely worth pausing to take in this gorgeously macabre sight. Number 1. Twin Peaks – Bob's Reflection Season 1, Episode 1, Pilot The first episode of Twin Peaks saw the townspeople trying to come to terms with the death of homecoming queen Laura Palmer, having washed up on the riverbank coated in plastic. As her death is investigated, we eventually learn that she'd been abused and finally murdered by her father, who'd been possessed by Bob, an interdimensional demon created from an atomic bomb blast in New Mexico. Bob is first seen properly in the second episode, where Laura's mother Sarah sees him crouching behind Laura's bed, staring menacingly back at her during a vision. However, this wasn't the first time he appeared, and his origin story led fans to return to the first episode with that pause button ready. The pilot episode ended with Sarah experiencing another disturbing vision. However, set dresser Frank Silver accidentally appeared in the shot reflected in the mirror behind her. David Lynch saw the scene and liked the look of Silver so much, he decided to keep it in the show and cast him as Bob, changing the storyline from the original plan of Laura's killer just being her father. Let me know down in that comment section which moments from Spooky TV shows earned your rewind and pause. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can come say hi to me on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more spooky goodness.